Hi guys. Um, so I'm gonna cut some of these pieces up of the tomato. Um, a lot of people like to put um, cabbage as well. I don't really like raw cabbage. I prefer my cabbage cooked. So I just don't like it on here. So these are just tomatoes. I'm gonna finely, thinly slice out for my salad. And then for this, I'm just gonna cut this in half because this is just made to pour in when I'm ready. Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Um, one of my favorite, favorite Burmese foods. Um, as you guys, if you guys do not know, I am 100% Burmese. So this is a very, very popular dish from Burma that I was lucky that my sister just went and visited Burma um, and just came back yesterday. And she brought me back all of these delicious goodies, except for the tomatoes and the limes. So um, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly put together a tea leaf salad. And also um, I'm gonna show you how to eat it. So everything has been cut, everything has been trimmed. Um, if you guys want to know a little bit of an explanation of what's on here, this is fermented tea leaf. This is uh, fried lima beans and um, other things. Let me see. It is fried lima beans and roasted lima beans. So, and that was also brought from Burma. This is what it came in. Um, and then my sister just gave me a bag of dried shrimp because we all love dried shrimp and she knows that she's not going to get me more. So these are peppers I took from my dad's house. These, this tomato I just took from my dad's house too. Why go to the grocery store when you can just go to your dad's house? Um, my dad just recently came back from Burma too. So I'm just going to start off by cutting these Thai peppers into my tea leaf salad. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do. Like my mouth has been watering. I know like it does not look the most appetizing, but oh, it's like one of my favorite dishes. So I like my food very, very spicy. I don't know how you guys feel, but this is honestly like a must try. A lot of people in Burma eat this as like, um, I would say they eat it as breakfast, snack. A lot of the local street vendors have um, this. Yeah, I think I'm just going to eat. I have peppers flying everywhere. I think I'm only going to eat like two. I think I'm going to leave the third one out just in case I want to bite it. You pour some good old lime on the top. This is going to be so good. You guys have no idea. Um, this lime is like cheap as crap. I don't know what's going on. I didn't get this from my dad's house. It's all about how like sour you kind of want it. You want to mainly put it on top of the fermented leaves because that's where this is. Oh, I like mine sour, salty, and sweet. So that's my feet on the leather of this chair, little bench. So if you guys can hear that, okay. So I'm going to put on some gloves now just because it's like super spicy and I refuse to have 
my hands burning all day. So you just kind of like marinate. Oh. Your hands into it. Oh. oh. This is just amazing, guys. I can smell the aroma of like the fried lima beans, the tomatoes, like you want to water down the fermented tea leaves and make it last as long as you can. My sister gave me a huge little bag of it. I'm probably the only person in my family that eats it, so like my family, meaning my household. So I can't eat all, like, this whole plate, though. I'm going to, like, put half up because I just want to show you guys how to make it. And then you sample it to taste. My sister and my dad make this, like, so much better than I do. I know they do. And if they watch this, they're probably like, there's things I could have fixed. Or maybe not. Maybe they'll be proud of me. Who's to say? Mm. Just delicious. So, secret recipe is MSG. Like, I don't know why every Asian person who uses MSG in their house always has it, like, stored in some random jar. Like, we're, like, not supposed to have it or something. But it's, like, always go to any Asian person's house, you know. Mainly all my siblings. You will see it in some random jar. Go to my dad's house. It's in a random jar. I kid you not. Like, you really got to marinate it. You got to get this. And, like, my sister told me. She gave me the, the bag of tea leaves. And she told me that, um, you know, make sure you take it home. And, um... Smothered in oil, she said. Let it sit in oil for a few days, and then once it's sat there, eat it. So I've already done that oil process. It's been in there since yesterday. And now I'm just like, oh, I'm ready to go in. You have no idea. Makes me miss Burma. Makes me feel like I'm home. See, and then I have a ice cold water with me. Okay. Okay. This is what it looks like. And it's all done. Oh my god. I'm telling you, if you've never had Burmese tea leaf salad, you are missing out. I'm going to go ahead and get some pepper, some tea leaf, and a tomato, and some dried shrimp in here. You can see that. So Mmm. Mmm. Well, I just bit into that pepper. My dad grows his own chili peppers. Oh, man. That's just, yeah, that's my dad's pepper. My eyes are like watering. Mmm. I knew I only needed two peppers. Oh, man. I gotta call my sister after this one. Wow. Mmm. I'm going to add a little bit more lemon. I mean, lime. Oops. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more MSG, too, because what's an Asian without some MSG, you know? Oh, man. 
Mm. Telling you. I might sit in here and eat this whole bowl. But man, oh man. There's nothing like Burmese. Authentic tea leaf salad. We call it lapetho. Lapetho. Mmm. So good. Oh my goodness. My mouth is watering for the next bite already. You see this big green chili pepper I put on there? Mm. That's going to make my ears explode. But for some reason, I'm all for it. <clears throat> I'm a little bit under the weather as well, if you guys can hear. So this should make me feel a little bit better. Mmm. I mean, this is just, my goodness. Oh, just amazing. I don't even know where to like dig in at because everything is so good. It's just something with the combination with the lamb beans, the peanuts, just the peppers, the tomatoes. And like I said, my sisters usually, my family usually eats this with garlic, um, cabbage, everything. But this is how I like it. Mm. Really big piece of pepper. Mm. But I want more. Mm. <laughs> My little lima bean that fell. So good. Mm. I mean, the perfect mid snack. My nieces can literally sit here and eat like this whole plate. They are so Burmese. My daughter's picky. My fiance's picky. My son's not very picky, but this is spicy. I wouldn't expect him to eat this just yet. Maybe soon. Mm. Mm. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this up and save this for a little bit later. I'm going to eat this with rice, some meat, with this, like, tossed in. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna see all my hands and stuff. I'm gonna do this for my family. Mm. That's what my family would do. Mm. 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 So good. <laughs> 